it's your girl cam thank you so much for clicking on this video I really appreciate it we're gonna do something a little bit different today I'm gonna give you a breakdown of all my least favorite restaurants because I really believe that every driver and I say this almost every day you should have a list of restaurants that you're always gonna go to because you know that they're gonna be grab and goes and then you also have that list of restaurants where I say are your no-go list in restaurants that you either never go to or you hardly go to so we're gonna go over that no-go list for me today once again these are just my opinions and what is relevant in my area they may differ from what is in your area but I can't wait to cover it with you guys so guys let's get right into it and let's do this okay so let's kick it off with chick-fil-a oy vey chick-fil-a so ah, Chick-fil-A is on my never list and this actually all stemmed from last year when the pandemic was still relevant and nothing was open yet and they had those kiosks outside malls and oy, it was just such a madness. And one time there was like drivers like fighting with each other because this person got their order before this person and this person's food was cold and I literally witnessed almost a fist fight break out at Chick-fil-A. So then I gave them a second chance when the malls actually started opening again and it was just mad chaos and that's another thing it is inside my mall it's not a drive-through it's not an easy in and out you literally have to go into a mall go to the food court and pick up my chick-fil-a so that's one of the major reasons why I personally don't do chick-fil-a but in the long run just chick-fil-a is unorganized it the wait times are long and I usually just avoid Chick-fil-A altogether. Okay, so next is, I know this isn't so-called a restaurant, but any restaurant inside the mall. To me, there's nothing worse for me than having to park, walk into a mall, walk through the mall to get to a food court, and then actually pick up the customer's order. So for me, anything, anything in the mall, I it is on my least favorite list because I usually don't take those orders. I will say though, I do do restaurants outside the mall and those are actually easy because you can get to them and you can grab and go, but anything with inside the mall is usually a no-go for me as well. Okay, Taco Bell. What can I say about Taco Bell? It is, in my opinion, and in my area, a disaster. <laughs> so, and this was like a couple of months ago, and I, it was late at night, I didn't think that their dining room was open, so I, I, it was three cars, and even though it was three cars, I waited forever in the line at the speaker, or the drive-thru, and I get all the way, there was no one in back of me. I was at this point, the only car there. And I said, I'm here. I think it was for DoorDash. Maybe, I can't remember which one it was. Maybe it was Uber. But I said, I'm here for an order. And they said, you have to come inside. And I'm like, okay, I understand, but I'm the only one here. Can you just make an exception? They're like, nope, you have to come inside. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I just wasted 10 minutes just by being in the drive-thru. So then I go inside and now there's a line inside and I ended up waiting because none of their orders were ready. So that was that instance, but I have tried them. I always give restaurants a benefit of the doubt because they could be having a bad day. They could just be short staffed at the times I go. So I always give restaurants more than one opportunity. And then I tried it again. And this time I knew better. I went inside and they said that they were backed up by like 30 minutes and I'm like, I'm never doing Taco Bell again. So Taco Bell is also on my least favorite list. Okay, Burger King. <laughs> so the Burger King in my area, once again, you can't go through the drive-thru, you can only go through, you can only do pickup inside, which usually isn't the case. But my Burger King, 
is just so rude and so disrespectful and I thought once I thought and I've tried them several times because there is a good Burger King in like distances to everyone and I want to like Burger King but it doesn't matter when I go who I go they're all just they're just so mean <laughs> that's just kind of the bottom line and then one time well a couple of times my orders were delayed because they couldn't figure out the orders and they were disorganized and I'm like I'm so over Burger King so that is another reason why I don't usually do Burger King okay five guys no I only say five guys so depending on the time of day I sometimes don't mind five guys my five guys has gotten to know me to the point where I can usually call ahead and say and they get to know my voice after a while hey I'm on my way and they usually have my order ready which if you know your five guys it's a helpful tip but I put them on my least favorite list because let's face it if you if they don't do that and this happens a lot you have to go to five guys and once you're there then they drop the fries in to get the fries going sometimes they haven't even started the burger or whatever their customer is getting yet and you know, they can delay you and every driver wants to go to those restaurants that are literally I'm gonna grab my order and I'm gonna go and five guys is not that restaurant you have to literally wait every single time for them to get those fries in the fryer to get you out the door so and actually almost every single order almost I'll say almost is a milkshake and I can't tell you how many times I've almost spilled the milkshakes coming out of five guys but anyway those are the main reasons why Five Guys is on my least favorite list. Okay, Popeyes is up. So, Popeyes, oh, I feel like I'm repetitive by saying they're rude, but they're, they're literally rude. So, they're another one that you can't use the drive through You have to go into the restaurant, even if there's like literally no one there. If you go during peak times, forget about it. The lines are ridiculous and out the door and it's not even worth your time. Once you get inside, if you even get inside, my Popeyes is extremely rude. They're abrupt, they're short. I feel like they don't like DoorDash drivers. Uber Eats, they're a little bit more forgiving with, but I feel like they, and just in my opinion, I feel like they just don't like DoorDash drivers in general. And boy, they're just not nice people. And their wait times are long. I can't tell you how many times they have screwed up on customers' orders. Um, there was one time where a customer was doing like some kind of family meal and online and on the customer's end, it actually showed that they got dessert, like four free desserts with their family plan. And the gentleman who was there asked me to call the customer and I did and they were like arguing back and forth because the guy's was like well it's not on it and the customer's like well I'm, I'll show you a snapshot and I'll send it to you so you see it on our end and they refused to give this poor customer their desserts because in their minds the dessert wasn't included and I felt so bad for the customer I'm like so much for the customer being right in this case but yeah, that's just one example, but I feel like they're always forgetting something. So just to avoid all problems altogether, Popeyes is on definitely on my no list. This next restaurant used to be on my favorite list, and as soon as it came on, I'm like, okay, I'm always gonna go there. And lately, they are on like I my least favorite list, and that is Chipotle. Hoy vey, and I think a lot of you guys have said this in comments as well, so you might agree with me. I don't know what has happened to Chipotle in the past couple of months, but ooh, their wait times are just so backed up. Their online ordering is just mad chaos. I can't tell you how many times I want to like Chipotle so I take the order and I regret taking the Chipotle order just because their online systems are so backed up. The other, just the other day I went in and they're like we're 15 minutes behind and they're shouting it and like there's a restaurant full of drivers and we're all waiting for our order and 
And also, I can't tell you, I think it's happened like three or four times where they actually don't have my order and they can't find my order. And then they ask me to pull up my order on my end. It's just very disorganized. They're always behind. And to me, it's just mad chaos. And I witnessed also several times their employees are not happy working there sometimes either, which doesn't make a happy situation. So Chipotle now is on my least favorite list. The next restaurant I have, it's a local restaurant, so this isn't relevant probably to a lot of you, but it is an Italian restaurant in Red Bank called Pazzo. Once again, they used to be on my list that I would go to, and now they are not, and I actually started on Mother's Day weekend, and I ended up waiting like 30 minutes, and I did it because I'm like, okay, it's Mother's Day weekend, I get it, it was Saturday, they're backed up, I understand. I then gave them another chance, and it was just during lunchtime, and I'm like, okay, it's lunchtime, how bad could it be? And I got there, they hadn't even started my order yet, they were so backed up, and I'm like, okay, I really wanna like this place because whenever I get orders from there, they're always like, really good expensive orders because it's an expensive Italian res restaurant and it happened for a third time so I'm like three strikes you're out and I just now never even accept an order from them even despite the price of whatever it is it's just not worth it because they're always 20 to 30 minutes backed up and so that's Paso. Okay so finally Walmart I think. <laughs> uh, I, I'll be honest, I've never done a Walmart order. I just don't think it's worth my time or my energy. I have gotten Walmart orders into, like, sent to me, but I will say my Walmart is like eight ish miles away, so it's a very rare occasion that I'll get a Walmart order unless I'm on the other side of town. But the Walmart orders that I have gotten have the like the price that comes in it's just totally not worth my time it's usually like three orders for $15 there was one time I got four orders for like $10 and I'm like why would anybody even do these orders and then from hearing from all of you guys like it's just a it's just not a fun experience going to Walmart so I avoid Walmart at all costs um, just because I don't think it's worth my time and I don't want to be sitting at Walmart for any more than I what I have to so Walmart is on my never list and guys that concludes my list of restaurants that I least like to go to okay so that is it for today I just want everybody to have their own individual list of restaurants that you will always go to and then restaurants that are your least favorite and you will hardly ever go to or never go to because that will make your decision making and taking orders that much more easier. And guys, that is it for today. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the bottom. Also everybody give this video a big thumbs up and then also leave me a comment because I want to know what everybody's least favorite restaurants are because I know we all have an opinion about it and guys that is it so everybody if you are driving please stay safe please stay healthy remember kindness is always free I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video peace